Welcome aboard Flight Crew. We're here at King Richard's doing a little antique shopping. It's our first time as a family. We're really excited to bring our daughter to her first antique flea market. Antique Mart. Yeah. Pray she doesn't break anything. Pray she doesn't break anything. She's been pretty good. I tend to convince her out of time. What's, what do you do if I don't have the game ends? I know, I was about to say, the game does not end well. What do you do in the game? <laughs> you were so mad. Oh, it's like, oh, you don't know who you mess with. How, how, how mad were you, baby? Oh, God, no. Oh, oh. That is not coming home with The her. king. I didn't know what she was talking about at first. <laughs> first Star Wars figures I ever had. Oh, look at Chewbacca. Look how Jack Chewie is. First antique store. Today is our first antique store with Alice, and we're coming to King Richard's, which is one of our favorite antique shops here in Whittier, California. Three levels. It's one of the biggest ones, I guess, in Southern California. We've been there so many times, and we love it. So many times. But we've just been waiting to like take Alice on her first antique store trip. I think we just wanted to get out of the house. Yeah. <laughs> get the baby out of the house. You also said we wanted to look for some things today too. For our bedroom makeover that we've been slowly yeah. working on. I think having the baby in the room kind of hindered us having our, our dream bedroom. <laughs> Victorian bedroom. Jungle Tarzan Treehouse theme. Something like that with a Jungle Cruise feel to it. Yeah, a lot of the Star Wars stuff is gone. Just these little things right here, Flight Crew. Wow, maybe one of you guys did. Who did it? Yeah, who did it? Which one of you guys came and bought it? <laughs> Eventually, we were going to buy it all. That's a cool booth. We were talking about it. Natalie's a huge Jurassic Park fan. This is the original display of uh, Jeff Goldblum in the Penance Day. <gasps> wow, these are like the original. First, first Star Wars figures I ever had. Still vividly remember buying these and playing with these on the carpet in my parents' house. Just being so ecstatic that I had these. Like, I only had a couple of them when they first came out. And this one of Luke, I believe, is one of the early editions because there was this thing where they made the lightsabers kind of too big. You can see how tall that lightsaber is for Luke. Uh, and they kind of realized afterwards that they didn't really design these correct and they're way too big. So they, they started shrinking the sabers to be about half the size of that. But God, imagine fighting with that thing. It's way too big. <laughs> what? Listen, one of the poor kid recognizes this jacket. Oh no. <laughs> how many points did it take? So many. And my dad made us like cut them all over because you had to like oh. get the it's almost like box tops for secret. Yeah. <laughs> my dad's like, what do you should I get the jacket? Should I get the duffel bag? Did get you, the jacket, Daddy! I think there's a doc about that about some kid who wanted to get like oh no it was Pepsi. Pepsi, I thought it was that. It was similar where you could get points and save them up. <laughs> This is the uh, Enterprise. Our favorite version of Star Trek that we watched while Ashley was pregnant, we were trying to find a bunch of calm, relaxing shows, and one of them was we finally watched all of uh, Star Trek The Next Generation, and love the show. It's so chill. Really enjoyed watching that, and now I understand. I'm a Trek fan for sure. I still need to watch much of the other series. There's so much Star Trek to watch. Make it so. VHS tapes. Indiana Jones, we've got Raiders of the Lost Ark, that T. This is a cool packaging that this guy has from too. I think hands down, favorite booth so far. This is definitely my kind of stuff. Very 80s too, like these TVs are awesome. I still want to find an old TV. We watch Star Wars on VHS. I have the VCR and I have the tapes. I just need to find an actual old school TV like that so I can rewatch Star Wars the way I first saw it as a- Oh, the cozy? Yeah. Oh my God, I literally have this lamp on my desk. So cool. Who is this person? <laughs> <laughs> is it you? Is it me? Did I make a booth in the future and like come back? Oh, look at Chewbacca. Look how Jack Chewie is. Indiana Jones on VHS. Oh, that was so exciting to see. Yeah, see here again. This is the original collection of figures that first came out. I think I first got 3PO, R2, Obi Wan, I think Luke. I forget I, if I was able to get Vader at first, but man, childhood right here. Ashley's favorite Batman, Val Comer. <gasps> you drink out of his head? <laughs> Not hot beverages. Your dream. Plastic. Alex, this could Alex be your could cup. Yeah. You wanna drink for me? I like that. So you're wearing a shake blender. Oh, it's so cool. I really love milkshakes. It's one of my sweet tooth treats. This entire row, actually there's like three rows that we're about to go exploring. Hang out for a little while, Flight Crew. We're gonna be here looking around. 
countdown list. What? Oh, it's so light. Oh, it's got a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 7, 4. It's a rocket on the handle! I love this cookie jar. Oh my goodness. What did you find? I love this cookie jar. Oh, wow. That's, That's so very cool. pretty. That would look great in the kitchen. Yeah, with some cookies in it, too. With some cookies in it. Oh, 28 <laughs> bucks. That's not bad. Gina giddy. Yeah, you can hold on to it if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Vintage glasses. Oh, yeah. Something I was not aware of until we started doing this is a lot of like old vintage glasses and things even some of the ones we have sometimes are made with lead within the paint so you got to be careful about that It'd be a little dangerous drinking from those <laughs> so random Why? staple with raggedy and staple with me. i guess it makes your job more put fun. your finger in put your finger in. <laughs> this is kind of a fun weird old cut too this is very spacey looking stuff that's also another game we kind of play sometimes is like, what could we find here that could be a Star Wars fire looking thing? Just the aesthetic of it feels like it could be that. <gasps> no way! It's not exactly yours. No. It's close. So crazy. So I basically, for Christmas, I got Ashley these, a set of two of these. They're Monica's glasses from Friends, her wine glasses. Since we've been watching Friends so much, Ashley saw them and was like, I want to get a set of those. So she, you actually wanted to always find them, though, when we were yeah. doing something like this. We've never seen them before, so I'm just going to get them for Christmas for her. And she literally just found some. Those ones are a little different, though. Monica's are a little more specific. Oh, is that something else? I like bamboo amber. That's, That's a very fun. cool color. Yeah, that's fun. I didn't think we were ever going to find some of those. Because this is a little keychain, and it looks like it's actually from BioWorld. BioWorld is the bigger company that owns Heroes and Villains, which we love, which I'm actually wearing today. I have a ton of Heroes and Villains stuff on. You can see this is my favorite hat. This is my Battle of Yavin Red 5 X-Wing hat. I love this. It looks like you're part of like the X-Wing crew. And then the jacket is a, one of my favorite bomber jackets. It's really light. There's a big mirror over here, too. I can show you guys the back big um, Rebel logo on it with a bunch of Arabesh. It's like crew rocket ship on there again. Love all the patches. Alice loves playing with all the patches. Anytime I have like an outfit with patches on, which are a bunch of my heroes and villains shirts and jackets, she always loves to scratch them and look at them. I'm also wearing an X-Wing shirt. And I also have my hip pouch, which I'm actually carrying a lot of our stuff today and our camera in. So I'm fully decked out in Heroes and Villains. I'm always showing off Heroes and Villains because we love their gear. They're one of our sponsors for this channel. If you guys want to pick anything up, make sure to check out our code in the description below. You can get 20% off of anything you purchase from Heroes and Villains. And always make sure to then, you know, tag us. If you pick something up, share it. Love to see what you guys pick up because we love their stuff. This is my bound for the day. Ashley's definitely got more of the pretty vintage look on today. Very pretty booth. So Captain Hook is hanging out in the middle of this piece. <laughs> Finance my trip to Neverland. Why is he looking? I don't know, it looks like he's causing some trouble. Right? <gasps> I don't that was mind. a sneeze. Did I sneeze? That was a sneeze. That was a sneeze. That's so tight. There's something so satisfying back in the day of pulling these out at the library to look for a book. Yeah. And digging through, like, it was so rewarding to feel the cards and then feel like you, oh, I found where the book is. You don't even go to a library now. <laughs> it's like the worst part. She's like, what? turn it on. Oh, turn it on. <laughs> Alice's favorite thing is looking at the fan spinning in the ceiling. It's one of her <laughs> She's just looking at the disco ball. This one, this is a really cute one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> More little jars. You're always looking for little things like this. Yeah. You've got so many. I have them. way too many, though. I think, I'm, though. I think I'm good. Mm. I think I have enough. Collecting yeah. new stuff. I never knew that. I guess maybe King Richard's building is the historic Whittier Citrus Packing House. Huh. Interesting. I always wonder what this building was beforehand. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to anything. Say, I'll drink to that. I'll drink to anything. Yeah, there's this fun little... <laughs> I'll drink to anything. <laughs> Me too, man. You too? I feel like so many of these displays are so different than what I remember. I mean, we haven't been here in a while, they but... They always change it up, which is nice. Yeah. Oh, I just saw something. Solo, Chewbacca, Lando, and L3. <laughs> the Pez edition. This is funny because I'm like, what do you want to look at? And it's always like a different Oh, jeez. <laughs> what did you find? <laughs> oh, what? Solo Pez? Yeah. Solo Pez. I feel so bad because this is Solo, and then we have Justice League up here. These are like two of my favorite movies that didn't do well in the box office. Brian loves an underdog. I do love an underdog. It's worth the July number. Tattoos. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it has actual sleeves. How about you? 
I don't want to be here. Oh my goodness. I don't want to be here. Hi, this. I just wanted to say hi. And I hope you have a good day at King Richard's. <laughs> She's like, how did Elmo get here? He's what? supposed to be at home. Yeah, he was supposed to be at home, Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> I just spotted my first Elvis find of the day. It took that long. It took a while. Oh, God. What? Oh. <laughs> what? I got scared. I know. Elvis on a bike. Yeah, did I saw that it? earlier. Did you see it? Yeah, <laughs> you got scared by it. A little Beetlejuice action going on, because this is totally the uh, receptionist. Got no legs, just like in the movie. Dealer 1565. <laughs> wow. Got me. Got, Got you. me. Oh, I have these. It's like, how much are they charging for? Because I thrifted them for five bucks. Uh, Thirty bucks. Cool. Yeah, this, this was what that lady almost took out of my cart when we went to the thrift store. She, oh, no she tried to pull them out of the cart. That's, that's some weird stuff sometimes when you go to the thrift stores. Like, people will just start scrounging through your cart if you're not paying attention. I found an Elvis piece that I kind of am interested in. Let's see, these salt shakers are really pretty too, but I'm gonna move them out of the way for a second. I was so mad. You were so mad? It's like, ooh, you don't know who you mess with. How, how, how mad were you, baby? Oh, God, no. Oh, oh. That is not coming home with us. The king it. is not coming home with us. It's a tiki mug. Oh. I wonder who actually made this. Artist named Thor? That's cool, though. I love that. That's, this glass bowl is really pretty. I love this. Ooh, anything fun back here? I like these. Those fun. Oh, those are really pretty. Mm -hmm. 50 bucks. Oh boy. Cool radio too. I love looking at the radios. I love looking at old tech when we're here. It's a cool shelf. Well, I love just the booth. The display is very 70s in here, the way they decorated this setup is so cool. And these rattan shelves are so cool, these bamboo shelves. It'd be fun to have something like that maybe in our bedroom, but I don't think we have room for that. Just these different shapes are so cool. It's so pretty looking. We play this game at home. She loves it. <laughs> yeah, she's getting tired. We already did a lot of exploring. I'm surprised she's still awake right now. Baby. Yeah, that is true. Everybody's like, your baby's so good. She's like, I'll show you when I hit my terrible twos. Just wait and see. <laughs> raised their prices. As she was saying that it feels like a lot of people have raised their prices, which is something we've noticed even going to like just the local thrift stores that you would buy the things usually where people find things to then sell at a place like this. Store, so. yeah. Yeah, customers are crazy. One of our favorite that we used to go to all the time, like. Everything is so expensive. It's actually the place we got our vintage TV that's in our Always Believe space. I got really lucky because I saw that before they put it on the floor and they would normally probably just charge like a couple hundred dollars or something like that. Even at a thrift store, I kind of negotiated with the guy right then and there. I was like, I want that. Like, There's no price on it. He was like, eh, $25. I was like, oh, thank God. Cause I thought he was gonna be like 150 bucks. And I'm like, Still probably bought it, but. But a lot of this stuff is so vintage and old, like, I get it, they're one of a kind, you're not gonna find often. People make a, a good chunk of their side income from stuff like this, so. It's just hard, that's why you have to kind of pick and choose the things that you really want. There's so much stuff that we want when we come here, it's all so pretty. <gasps> Ashley, speaking of, these are even more like the Friends wine glasses, except these are not blue. Actually, it is blue. Super dark blue, though. Monica's look more like the blue we just saw, but this is more the shape of Monica's glasses. So crazy. We had never seen these before, and now I'm seeing two sets of them. It's just fun. We, we got those things, and we got Monica's coffee mugs. It's just kind of fun to like sit there and watch the show, and then drink out of the cups. It makes you kind of feel like more like you're actually there with them. I didn't know what she was talking about at first, but shh, shh. <laughs> I thought she meant the baby, but the baby's clearly awake still. So overstimulated from everything. He's definitely getting there. Oh, wow. It's a very pretty Marilyn picture. I really love that they have a bunch of these kinds of displays set up. It makes it a little bit more, I don't want to say theme park, but that kind of a feeling. Things that's nice about King Richard's is the displays are so well done. It's not just like piles of junk at a lot of antique stores that you go to, but this place is really curated and beautiful, pleasurable to be in here and walk around. Teddy Ruxpin. I had one of these, I think, as a kid. 
for those of you younger Flight crew members, Teddy Ruxpin was like the it toy in uh, the 80s. Everybody wanted one so badly. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. Can you and I be friends? Yeah. I really enjoy talking to people. Four batteries not included. Just found another Elvis piece. There's some famous photos of him early in his career riding on a train. They actually used an old refrigerator as uh, solid. And you know, if you need to survive a nuclear blast, you can climb in one of those, like Indiana Jones, and you'll be okay. Oh wow, it's, it's very pretty. He's in my collection. I had a billion dollars. You had a billion dollars? I had a billion dollars. They're dancing. Cool radio. They're making out and this guy's just like, hey, that's my wife. Oh no. <laughs> it was the end of the war. It was the end of the war, that's true. <laughs> just happy to be back. Wow, look at this radio too. Oh, this TV is awesome. What? Oh my god. Wow, uh, way to draw people to your booth. Look at this big teddy bear. That's a big bear. I don't want to do what people do when they scare their kids dressed as like the bear though. That's messed up. Levels. You could display them. You could use this for tiki mugs. You could. Well, no, it's kind of short. Show your crystals. <laughs> What's that bug? That's not bad. We that need one of these. Our, uh, our boat crashed. This is all that, <laughs> that we were able to bring. $450. That's crazy. <laughs> no horse. Yay! This guy's always yeah, here. Yeah. That's King Richard's horse. Oh, my goodness. You're just flipping out because I have lipstick on, huh? <laughs> just keep touching my face. I know. Mommy's got lipstick on. I had, like, my hair and my makeup done when I got her up, and yeah. she was like, is that my mom? Yeah, it's pretty. It's yeah. That looked cool in the living room. We yeah. didn't have a big mirror though. So as you can tell, one of the things that's really nice about King Richards, which luckily it is right now, it's very quiet. It's a very relaxing experience to come here. It looked like it was pretty busy in the parking lot, so maybe there's... Yeah, but it's a huge place. Hopefully just spread out and roam and not have the pressure of somebody over your shoulder like when you're thrifting or you're at like the Goodwill or these other types of places. Old Star Wars gear too. This is what they always use, all this kind of stuff. Just throw some air bash on it and boom. Good to go. Star Wars. That's all George did. Star Wars. <laughs> and now yeah, now it's Star Wars. <laughs> Titanic adventure out of time. What's what do you do if I don't have the game? Ends? I know, I was about to say that the game does not end well. <laughs> what do you do in the game? <laughs> a little stink of tequila over here, Ashley was saying. Oh, it's this wild turkey bottle. A vintage wild turkey uh, bottle. I can smell the whiskey. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I was like, why does it smell like this over here? Ooh, you smell like grandpa. That's why. It does smell like grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we found some great stuff at Kane Richards over the years. A vintage radio, a vintage phone that we have hanging in our living room, some chairs last time we were here, records, Star Wars stuff is always here. Something I always look for is like vintage Star Wars. I'm going to do my best to show you guys a lot of the different sections a little bit better today. Just give you a sense of being here a little bit better. Never look back in the past, darling. It distracts from the now. Well said. Yeah. 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 You want to touch the camera? Yeah, you do. You want to touch the fuzzy microphone? <laughs> More art for it. For the bedroom. We do. Serving trays? Yeah, a friend has one of these. Put like uh, your nuts or whatever your snacks are in the tray. You can just grab it. You can hang out at the party. Just like the cereal. Yeah, you've got a good eye for just finding little cute things. I like this little one. I like this little one. What? I like you say it. Say I like this little life. I like this little life. <laughs> no. What? what? I like this little life. I like this little life. <laughs> what am I saying? What do you have to say? I like this little life. <laughs> what is it from? Is it like a TikTok? Yeah, it's this this girl singing this song. I like this little. But everyone's making fun of her because like every every single girl <laughs> does a video of them like walking somewhere. Oh. <laughs> the music playing in the background. 
always a fan of like mid-century stuff coffee pots coffee cups little things like this that's always my other thing i'm always looking for is mid-century stuff oh, those are cool they're pillowcases yeah. Kraken. while we crashed our ship here's an actual ship an actual little boat we can have ashley Figures on them. I could put my that Star Wars boat. action Great idea. Ashley said we can put our Star Wars action figures in this little boat and it can be captaining the boat. This is fun. This is actually exactly the phone that we bought. It's not real. It's a new phone that looks old. I like finding her vintage baby clothes. I like that jacket. Oh, this is a nice collection in here. You were saying this is just, you can keep a drink yeah. next to your bed table. So smart. Yeah, they're they're kind of um coming back around. People are uh -huh. buying these, or there's like new ones being made now. I mean, we have water bottles now too, but that's that's much prettier. <laughs> Could be fun. I like that. Twenty-five bucks. Yoink. I went down. Okay. <laughs> Here you go. We only have one bookend. Oh. I, didn't, I realized they were bookends, and I'm like, oh, there's. I only have one. Like, we could put that up on the shelf. Yeah, that's cool. I have it somewhere. I don't remember where. Yeah. Very cute. Oh, that's kind of cool. That could work. Oh my god, it's, it's expensive. expensive. It's, in, it's in good shape. It's definitely getting long. Are you getting red hair? We're not sure. Yeah, sometimes we think she's going to have red hair, but we're not sure. Oh, is it just like the uh, top of the hair dryer? Or maybe it's a portable thing. Yeah, I don't dare open it. <laughs> Full head of hair in there. Oh, this is like one of those prints I have in the bathroom, only mine says April, this one's May. Oh, that's you cool. get that from you, Allie? Fun kitchen stuff in here. Like these sugar flower coffee pots. I don't like this. Oh my gosh, scary clown. She's huffing. Getting tired. It's to get over the <laughs> whole point of me coming here was a touch thing. Yeah. yeah, it's actually nice today. It seems like a lot of the booths are really have been set up very nicely. It's always fun to kind of see everybody else's aesthetic and taste and what they like to collect. Sort of like when I'm always asking you guys, what are your interests, what are your passions? This is people's passions in a sense. The things that they gravitate towards that they want to resell. And then a cool vintage radio. How is it going? She's being what? cute. She's just being cute. She's being cute? She's like, what day? I can clap mommy's hands. <gasps> New <laughs> skill. Good job. Skill upgrades. <laughs> You guys are seeing a first tier flight crew. Every day she learns something new, which is so fun. She just develops so fast and it's so interesting to watch. She wakes up in the morning and she's like a whole new baby. Yeah, like Ashley just said, she <laughs> wakes up in the morning and she's like a whole new baby. You can just see it in her eyes, that twinkle and that magic. She's like, oh, I leveled up last night. Everything I learned yesterday processed and it's in my brain. And now I'm gonna start doing it. So hopefully, you know, with her being here and kind of looking around, maybe she'll see some new things or she'll level up again. Attention flight crew, attention! I made it worse. <laughs> There's some cool stuff over here, some vintage fun things. Some vintage this? fun things? Some vintage that fun things, that's how I call it. Yeah, well, I don't know what this is. A six transistor? Vintage fun things! Well, Mini transistor radio? Say. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, it's hundred dollars. Oh boy. Redlands. Redlands, oh wow. Ready to go downstairs? Yeah, let's go downstairs. Hey, there's my whole outfit. I'm only showing you my outfit again because we usually bound when we go to Disney and other places like that. I still like the bound life, whatever we're doing. So. It's a fun Tinkerbell mug. That's cute. Oh, that is cute. Here's another one. She's popping out of the keyhole. Sneaking through the porthole so she like holds her waist and she looks at the hole. You and said Marilyn Monroe? Yeah, and gentlemen prefer blondes, that scene. And so like it's kind of side by side. It looks very similar to that scene. Oh. Yeah, I never realized that. I, I've actually not seen a lot of Marilyn movies. But I don't think one was inspired by the other because I think they were kind of like filmed at the same, they were done at the same time. So it's like just really random coincidence. Weird. We need to get you some Mickey ears, huh? Yeah. Those vintage ones you said? Speaking of Marilyn, there's a cool photo of her. Oh, and a pop up Marilyn Monroe. Interesting. I thought you never noticed. <laughs> what? <laughs> These wine glasses. Yeah, those are in a cabinet, so you don't touch them. Oh, where uh, are they from? Mid-century. Oh. They kind of look like coffee mugs, but then wine glasses. I've never seen anything like that. We are going downstairs. We are on the bottom level, last floor. <laughs> this guy, keep her, keep her entertained. <laughs> 
Haha, <laughs> you met him before? Oh man, Ashley just found this for me. This is Elvis in Hawaii when he was performing. It's actually a painting. <laughs> Come look at them. Yeah. Mommy would prefer not to look at them. <laughs> like a bank? Yeah, so I had a Darth Vader bank that was similar. I bet he would spin around and... Put... That gave me to save my money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just warming up in this little nook upstairs. I know we were saying we were going to let Alice touch things, but we've actually not been letting her touch too much because she wants to grab everything. She's learning how to do this right now. Yeah. Like we've pet the kitties. Yes. That's definitely something we've been practicing <laughs> is petting the cats because she wants to reach for the cats and just grab a handful of furrows and they don't want that. What did you say? It's called Creeping Kitch over there. Oh, way down there. Oh, this old Clint Eastwood poster is cool. I always love seeing old vintage posters because I design posters, so it's always cool to see uh, the old way that people would paint and design pieces, which is so different than a lot of the stuff nowadays. Right. That's a cool design. I love that. Anything over there? Creepy kitsch. What a creepy, creepy things. This lamp is so cool. Oh, it is very cool. How much is it? Hundred. 75, 175. It's not yeah. bad. Oh. It's cool. Kind of reminds me of like a nacho cheese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Old radios. Just found some old lunch boxes. Those are cool. Thermoses. Thermoses. The therm I'm so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so funny. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I said thermos and so thermos. <laughs> Relate to me. I know. We're a little tired from walking around. Yeah. There's so much to look at in here. Oh, mommy wanted to get this for your bedroom, but daddy said no. I don't think we could have a changing table if we had a pony. You could change her on the horse. You could change her on the horse. Make his nose. Every time I try and walk away from the horse, she gets really upset. See, I told you she wanted this. No, no. Oh. So we, we do have to go the petting zoo or go to a zoo or something with her. She'll have so much fun. Hi, horsey. Bye, horsey. Bye, horsey. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, Oh. Always have to come over and check out Elvis downstairs. Nobody's ever bought him. I don't even know if I would actually buy him, but it's kind of cool to see. I love, I love this image. Me? I need the queen. Your Bow to the queen, everybody. Majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. Admiral Alice. Your majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. You said you've been never in this. Oh, too this much. is a big chair. This is her new high chair. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Welcome to Green Gods. Oh, wow, that's cool. Oh, goodness. We were saying we wanted to find a uh, sort of Tarzan treehouse. Not exactly Victorian, but there's a lot of ships sort of explore stuff in here. Really interesting. So much to look at. But the mummy. Very uh, interesting display. Lots of scary looking stuff in here. Wow. Really cool though. We found one more pony. That's like a rocking horse, wow. Oh, wow. That's so cool. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is cool though. Yeah. I think that's totally worth it. That's so neat. Oh yeah. That's Alice's favorite find of the day. That rocking horse right there. <laughs> one thing. That was a good day though. <laughs> Even finding one thing is a good day. The whole point is to get out of the house. Right yeah, now. we had fun. Yeah. We had a lot of fun hanging out here at King Richard's with you flight crew. There's so much to see and do. Hopefully you guys saw some fun things and you had a good time hanging out today. Till next time, always believe flight crew. Like leaning back on me, it's just like, oh, ba 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 ba